As we reported earlier, rock star Brett Michaels is currently in the hospital suffering from a brain hemorrhage. The singer remains in critical condition while doctors try to pinpoint the source of the bleeding. Here to talk more about this type of brain hemorrhage is um, Dr. Michael Yokelson of the National Rehab Hospital. Dr. Yokelson is a brain injury director at the hospital. And thank you so much, first of all, for, for coming in. We understand that the type of hemorrhage that uh, Michael's suffered is called a, a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Exactly what is that? So a subarachnoid hemorrhage really is more a description of the location of the bleed. Uh, and typically, they're fairly large bleeds. The most common cause would be from an aneurysm, but not all of them are. So this is, is this a kind of stroke? Essentially, um, it is. We don't typically think of it as a stroke, but essentially uh, the way it works neurologically is about the same. And what typically causes it? The most common cause would be an aneurysm. There are other vascular malformations that can cause that. And sometimes we, we don't find an underlying vascular cause, so there are other problems like high blood pressure certainly is one of the big risk factors for it. In fact, we understand that he suffered from diabetes. He also suffered a, a, a head trauma last year. He was hit while performing on stage. He also admitted to heavy partying and heavy drinking. Could any of those been contributing factors? Sure, most of those could have. Uh, head trauma is a common cause of a subarachnoid, but the likelihood that his trauma, because it was so long ago, was related is very low. So it probably wasn't related to that. Uh, alcohol, drugs are a very common cause, um, and that uh, in conjunction with the diabetes could have put him at increased risk for this. And is it more uh, commonly found in men or women, and what about age? Um, we see it more commonly with men, <coughs> excuse me, and um, in younger uh, males, so about 40 to 60, he's right in that general uh, age, age range. And is he in the age, age range where he's expected to recover or he would be likely to recover? His chance for a good recovery is certainly much higher than someone if they're older. Okay. What are the warning signs? Well, the thunderclap headache that we hear everybody talking about, which is a very sudden, very severe headache, uh, is the most common sign. Um, other signs include nausea, vomiting, um, and certainly any stroke-like symptoms, so weakness, uh, slurred speech are signs to look for as well. So it, when you talk about prevention, you need to keep the risk factors under control or there, are there other ways to prevent? No, unless strokes? you happen to know you have an aneurysm, which is obviously not very common, then you just want to uh, keep the risk factors down. Do you expect him to recover? I think he will definitely recover. Uh, the extent to which he recovers is still a big unknown at this point in time. All right, Dr. Michael Yokelson of the National Rehab Hospital, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.